how you come down. It's working out. Anyway, as usual, you still fucking. Oops. I say we'll try to keep a lid on our up moms. First word out of my mouth. There we go. What day is it? We come by it, honestly. Yeah. It's Monday, right? It's Monday. Yeah. Monday morning. Monday morning. A mm -hmm. cool May morning. Then you're fresh off, fresh off the press of being bewildered, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> Bewildered. Still processing it. Still processing. Two Saturdays, Sunday. Two full days and two full nights of processing. That would have been Saturday night, right? That was Friday night. That was Friday night? How many nights did you go in there? Just one. What time did you go Oh, no, sorry. I went in there. For, no, I was two nights. I was in there Friday and Saturday. Came out Sunday night, yesterday. You were in there two nights? Two nights. No way. All right, well, let's back it up a little bit. I already said something in a video yesterday. I gave everybody the roughy. I gave everybody the roughy. If everything's happened to you, and I gave them the quickie of both. Remember that deer? That was a deer carcass you found hanging on a tree, right? I think so. That's pretty sure it was. A, it was it wasn't a deer. It was a calf elk. For, yeah. Wasn't human. No. Oh no 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 no. It was a. It was an animal. It was a deer. Maybe a small. I think a deer. I think it was a deer. Yeah. And I forgot, remember you showed me that picture of all those bones, remember? Yep. So what's the story in that pile of bones? And that was probably, as the crow flies, five miles from this spot. Oh, yeah. 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 From another river that I fish. Yeah, well, be careful not to say any names. No, no name. That, yeah, no, I want to be really careful because I, yeah, I got a lot of thoughts going on. And There's a lot of shit. Yeah, I've learned a lot, too, on that department. We'll get to it. Yeah. But no, we'll just try it. No names. It's yeah. right. It's not. Yeah, so that river, that river that I was yeah, yeah, fished is about five. As a crow flies, five miles, but quite a, you know, quite a track. Oh, so you found a bone pile by the river. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, like 150 yards off the river. No trails or nothing there though, right? Like it's just. Oh, it wasn't a saddle road. Oh no. Oh no way. No, no, it's. I was probably half an hour, 40 minutes from my side by side. Oh, no way. So an all <clears> animal <throat> parts, eh? Mixed bag. Yeah old new were like there was hair there too right like looked like elk hair so it looked like elk deer i don't I, I haven't shot that many bears like i think i've shot in my life two or three bears and taken the bones out and stuff so i'm oh. not sure about bear bones. <clears throat> but anyway yeah. same general area i wonder why they do that that was a, i've never seen anything like that and you know it's it's funny because um i've talked to people good friends of mine and and I've talked to people like on my YouTube channel and people go, oh, well, it's just bones in the, in the bush. <laughs> you know, it's normal. And I'm like, no, it's not normal. Like finding bones. And I think you can probably elaborate on that. Like all the times we're out hunting in remote areas, like once in a while, you'll find some bones or like a bone or whatever. But I personally have never seen a lot of bones. Well, especially like, on the island. 
especially on the island. But even up like north where I go, um, you know, I said that in, in my post, uh, up north where I go, I've shot a moose, right? 1,200 pound moose. And in two, three days, there's not a bone to be seen. Not one. Yeah. They're gone. There's good wolves up around there. Though. Lots. Yeah. There's lots. Yeah. There was, yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, there's lots up there. So, but I mean, just finding bones, I don't think it's a common thing because I don't, you know, with the amount of hiking I do and out river fishing and lake fishing and out hunting, I don't see bones all over the place. So it's not a normal thing. Yeah. Is there snow around there in the winter? That one spot? It's like regular snow pack there? I would say probably. Oh, yeah. Is there anybody trapped around there? No. Hmm? Not that I know of. <clears throat> yeah, because I remember having a look at BC yesterday and he said he found a shit pile of bones, tons of bones, <clears throat> and a tunnel that goes back into the thick studded spruce behind or whatever he was in. I think it was actually near Lillowood, actually. Really? Yeah. And then he said, uh, it's got to be a big bear. I'm going to set up trail cameras to get a picture of this huge bear. It's got to be a huge bear. And I'm like, <laughs> that ain't no bear. That ain't no bear. Yeah, no, I don't. And I never heard that from that guy since. I don't think it was a bear. I mean, I did, I did think bear immediately because there was a depression. Like, there was like a little hole in the ground, maybe a foot and a half deep, two feet deep, but big around, like half the size of this room. On Shalal or something? No, just in the, underneath the trees, oh, yeah. like in an opening under the trees. Oh yeah. And, and all the bones were in there and there was hide. And, and again, I kind of went bare. And there's hide? Well, there was not hide, hair. Hair. It looked like elk hair. Nothing fresh. Though. Nothing fresh. No. And some of the bones like were green, like. Old, old, old. Nothing's touching up. There's no That's what I right? kind of went was bizarre because there's wolves you, around there. There's lots of wolves around there. Early all those bones. And that's what I found bizarre because you said no wolves will pack the bones and chew them up. And they eat the whole thing. You know, they eat the whole thing. Whatever. I mean, it's nothing. What it is. You know what? From what we know about that whole area, there's nothing overly surprising. You know where? Whereas there's going to be other guys who want to go study those things forever. Yeah. Because of shit, they left a pile of bones moving yeah. forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I took, I, I took video of it and I, you know, I looked at it for a few minutes, but I was just like, okay, something I'd never seen before. That was when you were fishing out in the winter? Hmm. Anybody See? else fish around there in the winter? No way. Yeah. No. The odd fly fisherman on, on one of the rivers there, the odd, but not very many. Not where I go, that's where, like, I go way back. Yeah. That's like where I'm on the, I'm across from you the way across. Yeah. Like, you know where I am. <laughs> I don't, I think I, I ran into one person on that river this whole winter. Yeah. I think I've seen one person in like three or four years. Yeah, it's shitty fishing, but I'd rather have shitty fishing, maybe catch one and people. bump into somebody, yeah. leave me alone. I right? Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of activity going on on that river too. And I got to tell, I seen one. I know I seen one. What would that have been a month and a half ago? There's no doubt about it. There was a dude standing in the timber. In the, or in the on clear the slash, Yeah, yeah. I remember you told me that. Yeah, 200 yards straight up above where I was going to fish. I'm like, I mean, I didn't want to back up to go look again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. No, but I no. looked when I left. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. And that would have been, who knows, 12 feet. 12 feet and just a big, upright, dark, first seeing light. Whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. I don't give a you flying shit. Was. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we heard the howl. And then the dog looked up and this tree started right. going crazy. You told me that one too. After yeah. about our 10th hike through there and her seeing elk in there. Yeah. Did not like that, and yeah. she went nuts. And it's like, because mm -hmm. I go up, I go way up, go in the bush, and then we go to all the way down the river, and then head up to the main line, and then hike back up the main line. <laughs> or I'm, I'm walking up the middle of the main line, <laughs> all the way back, because that makes a difference, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that you, gives you an extra foot and a half separation. <laughs> right. Yeah, don't go on yeah. the side. I'm road. safe here. Get in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. Funny, but anyway, funny how the mind thinks, eh? Yeah, no shit, that false sense of security, whatever it is, but whatever. Yeah. So then what? So now we're at the, you found the pile of bones. Deer carcass was before that. That was quite a while ago, the deer carcass. Yeah. And, and the pile well, of bones. Well, then you heard, oh yeah, so. Well, those, yeah, that. So you went into the lake by yourself. Fishing. And then you sent us that video. But That's what right. happened before the video? Because you heard voices and shit or something, right? Yeah, noises or I heard noises. Like I heard what sounded like, um, like really deep, uh, almost like a bull moose. Like the the very beginning part of a bull moose, when that deep, real deep nasally sound. I thought I heard that, and I was like, "The hell is that?" You know, I heard it a couple of times. 
Uh, well, no big deal. And I'm on the trail now going down to the lake. And uh, You gotta go downhill to it? That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and it's in there. So, you know, it's like, right, as soon as you get into the timber, it goes twice as dark. And, uh, <clears throat> and anyways, it was just, there's a big tree that you gotta kind of scurry underneath. And I just went underneath that tree and that's when I heard the first whack. Like on a tree. Well, you didn't even make it to the lake? No. How far from it were you? Probably 50 or 75 yards. I can see the water. Oh, really? Yeah. They like that spot, eh? Yeah. They don't want anybody fishing <laughs> the same as us. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Or, yeah. I, I got a lot of different... I got a lot of different opinions now. Right. On a lot of different stuff. I've had a couple of days and a couple of sleepless nights thinking about things. Yeah. And, I, and I've gone back 30 plus years and thinking about things and going, that, that makes sense now. Right. This makes sense now. Things that I kind of just tucked away. Right. Well, we'll catch up. We're going to catch yeah. up there in one second. So now we're, now we wanted to like, heard the noises, <laughs> turned around, booked it. That time I left. Yeah, you're pretty upset. That yeah, that time I was like, no, I'm out, I'm out of here. I, I don't, I don't need this. I don't need to go fishing. I'm out. And that was first thing in the morning. Like it was... 7, then, 7 30. and then you spoke with your buddy after yeah, seeing them on video. And this is, got to remember, this is the same place that three years ago, my wife was with me. Yeah. And we went in there together because we love to hike together and stuff. So her and I went in there and same thing happened. Same. What does she think about all this? She's, uh, she's very open. Like she's. Doesn't show up. No. But like no. Sarah knows what's going on. Yeah, she's just like, no, you know, we talk about it a little bit. We don't talk about it a lot, her and I. Just because uh, I try to, it's probably, I, I don't bring it up. She asks me something, I'll, I'll talk about it. But I try not to bring it up because I don't ever want her to be scared to go in the bush. Yeah. Because we love doing camping and stuff. And, you know, we yeah. head up to the central interior and camp. And I, and I don't want her to be fearful. She, and, and I know that, like, like, just the last time, last fall when her and I went up to... Um, oh, central yeah. interior there camp in the winter time and i think i told you i was we were in our wool tent and i was frozen in my bed and i didn't hear a sound uh that, but i was frozen and i had my 300 laying beside me loaded and <clears throat> i was absolutely frozen in my bed listen i was wide awake it was two in the morning whatever and i just felt so uneasy and, and i have spent like I Is that near where you seen that one? Right across the valley. Oh yeah. Right across the big lake. Right. And I was I was just laying there in bed and, and anyways, where I was going with that is is my wife woke up and she's like, What's going on? Where what's you know, I said, Oh nothing, I'm just gonna put a log on the fire or whatever. And I didn't tell her how I was I was scared. Like there was something I felt like there was something there. Mm. There was something right there. And, you know, and then she's like, well, I got to get up and go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll go with you and stuff. And I didn't have to go, but I grabbed my flashlight, grabbed my 300. And I walked outside the tent with her, let her go to the bathroom, back inside. She went right to sleep. And I did hear a noise the next night. I heard something that, a little unsettling. And she woke up. She heard. She goes, what was that? And I said, I think the wind blew our cooler down. the Because we had our cooler sitting out in front of the tent. And I heard, and I hear, because the, there's snow there. And I'm like, and I wake up, she wakes up and uh, I grab my flashlight, go out, the cooler's down the fricking hill at the lake bottom. No. And then she's like, what was that? And I go, well, the, the wind blew our cooler. <laughs> the wind blew our cooler. Right? And I'm like, and she's like, are you, are you nervous or anything? I'm like, no, are you? And she goes, no, cause you're here. I'm fine. And I'm like, okay, but go back to sleep. You know? So wait. I don't want her to ever be scared. So yeah. I don't like, I don't want to ruin that for her. They tossed your cooler. Full? Full of food. Didn't take the food? No. Weird. Just slid down the freaking hill. That's weird. <laughs> no shit. So just... Take that away, man. <laughs> right. <clears throat> oh, wow. So anyways, you got to keep in mind this area that I'm talking about. Um, yeah, my wife and I a few years ago were in there. And then a few, like a month after her and I went in, I went in again and heard it again. Like the knocking and, and, and laugh. I didn't fish. Oh, well, sorry. I was on the lake that time. When the my, when Brent and I heard it, uh, we were walking down. Oh, back here on the island now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When when we were here, um, we were walking down. But the time I heard it, I was on the lake in the canoe, and I had my fly rod out, and the knocking was coming from across the lake. Oh yeah, 
Is it mature timber there anyway? Big stuff. Like never, never logged. The well on the on the side that you come in on, that's been logged. But the other side, all all, the all the new stuff, right? That whole zone's Big on fire. fire. That whole zone's always been on fire. Which is funny because I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I really didn't know that, like until you told me that. Really? No, no shit. I didn't know because I just didn't. It, it's not something that I really paid a lot of attention to, right? Yeah. Like I. 34 years I've had a handful of or more of experiences but I never really yeah, yeah. not enough to make much you go no yeah. not enough for me to sort of really look into anything right so I didn't know that was yeah so then uh so then you got chased not <clears throat> I'm not gonna call it chased up whatever you left and then uh, after I, that was when you heard from your uh native buddy from my buddy yeah what he say? he said well it was funny because he emailed me and was like Yo, you didn't stop and see me come and have a coffee, which I do often, right? I'll stop in and have a coffee with him. And so anyways, he said he had watched my my YouTube channel and, and was following my hiking adventures and stuff. And he's, so he saw the little clip that I, and he goes, and he said, I forget exactly what he said, but he basically said, yeah, they, they've been in there for, we've seen them forever, there 15, 20 years ago. He goes, I haven't been in there for 10 years since they de deactivated the road. Because you can't get, you can't drive anywhere close to it. Right? You're hiking the whole way in. Uh, he hasn't been in there since. But he's like, oh yeah, I, we used to see them down at the end of the lake, and people saw them all over the place in there. And I was, that's when I kind of went, wow, there's like this is a bit of a zone. Yeah, well, that next town up <clears throat> from where you are, I've had so many people email me from there. So I've, many. I've heard in the last few years, I've heard some stories from in there too. Well, like you say, it's all, for me, it's all new. You've, you've heard about it. I haven't. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, I was in Canadian Tire in town here a couple weeks ago, and there's a, you tell, you tell about somebody's eyeballs, a super kind, older native guy at the service counter beside me, and I looked at him and started laughing, just making stupid comments about the part that he's returning from the shittiest blood. And, and then I looked at him, and he's about to leave, and I forget what his freaking first name was. This is say it was Bob. And he's starting to leave, and I go, Bob. And he turned around and looked at him dead serious. Every time I've seen Sasquatch, just like that. And he goes, oh, my son saw one. Really? Just a little while ago. I smelled the smell, though. You know that main line out of Topino? And he starts rattling off. But that's, Unreal. you can almost, <clears throat> well, you pick the, you pick and choose who you're going to pop the question on. But after you're going to talk to, see and talk to people for a few minutes, you know where they live. Yeah. <clears throat> then I know, yeah. oh, yeah, there's, there's probably a link right here. Hey. Boom, right back in your face. Yep. <clears throat> but then, but the people from where you are, that mean logging road, right. which are emails, they yep. see them almost as often as you see freaking deer in the headlights. Yep. Oh, but what I've, what I've learned too is uh, from talking with him, they don't talk about it. No. Not even amongst themselves. Yeah. And like it, it's, it's a very, you know, because he's, and he said to me, he goes, excuse me, make sure you don't ever reveal where you are. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I was like, no, I, I won't. And, and he goes, I watched your little clip, and you didn't say nothing. But he goes, don't ever say like, where you are and stuff. And and but he did tell me that he goes, we don't talk about it. That's why I'm trying to get him. He's warm, you know, warming up to the topic a little bit. I'm trying to get him to meet up with you and I. And he's kind of, and I don't know why. I, I'm I'm going to talk to him more about it. Like, is it something they just don't discuss? I don't know. Most most don't. Most don't. But as soon as they get to know you, it just flows. Yeah. Like, if we went sat down from 10 minutes, he'd be like... He'd probably be okay. Once he figured it out, we're not like, Fox News, can we just yeah. sneak in an interview <laughs> with your ass? You know, it's yeah. like, he wants to sound a bullshit, bullshit. I don't yeah. give a flying... Sh I'm not connected to any of those, those groups of idiots. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't need... I don't need to prove nothing. I don't need a picture. I don't give a sh flying shit. They know it. These beings know it. Yep. But all I'm doing is... Because it leads to a bigger truth, right? Yeah. Leads to a huge, like, as soon as... And, and honestly, that's part of what I'm struggling with right now. Yeah. I, I'm struggling with the fact of there's there's something pretty... Pretty big. There's something pretty deep there. Real deep. And I don't know what that is. It's coming. But it's a, that's where it gets real taboo-ish. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like... How do I even start this part of it? Anyways, I don't know. Maybe we should, maybe we should just keep rifling out what happened to you first, and then we can yeah, take it from yeah. there instead of going yeah. straight. Back. So then what? So you talked to your body. He's seen a bunch of times. So then I then I was like, <coughs> so yeah, it's, they're here. 
you know, so it's a known thing here. You know? Yeah. So then what? So then, now, you decided you're going to go back in there because... Well, I went in there, I went in there a few weeks, well, three, four weeks ago or whatever. I went in because it's, it's good fishing time right now, right? And, and again, like, I've been going into this spot for a long, long time because I love it. It's beautiful. Like it's, it's majestic. It's, uh, I've posted videos of the area, like the mountains. It's just absolutely jaw jaw yeah, yeah. and stunning, right? So I love the area. <clears throat> so anyways, a couple of weeks or three weeks or whatever ago, I went in there and was hiking in and that's when I saw those freaking. well, I oh, saw, yeah, at first I bones. saw those bones on the ground. So I was kind of looking at the map. Is that, so if you're facing with the ocean to your back, is that like on the right side of the lake? Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Mm. <clears throat> Crazy. What made you go poke around there? Well, no, this is this is on the this is the same spot. Same trail going to the lake. This is Those the trail. Rocks. Yes. Oh, so you're going steep. Yeah. So you go all the way up and then you gotta go down? You go way up top and then you go like sort of along the edge of the mountain and then down. Oh really? <clears throat> and yeah, like this is right on the freaking pretty much on the deactivated. So I wonder what that was about. No idea. It's nothing threatening. Cause no, it was it, threatening. I was intrigued. I was intrigued. I was kind of like, well, and it's funny because I was just walking and I'm like, and I, and I was filming from my, you know, I, I just do bushcraft yeah, yeah. stuff. And, and so I was filming and I'm like, what the hell is that? And I kind of go walking over and I'm like, that is bizarre. And I, and I'm like, you know, somebody put those there, right? I'm looking at it and going, somebody, because there's like, there's a bone like this, right? And then there's like three or four rocks around it and it's sitting on a rock. And I'm just like, that is freaking weird. And they weren't there. That's fresh too. Yeah, they weren't there the last time I was there. No oh, chance. If there was, there's no snow would have sloughed those off in winter, storms are blowing Wind, over. whatever, right? Uh, like we get 60, 70 mile an hour winds out there. Yeah, times, yeah. Right? So, so anyways, and I'm looking, and then, so the one bone's like this, and then the other bone is, you know how the bone has a... Yeah. yeah. So the, well, you saw the picture. Yeah. The other one's sitting like that. And it's pointing right at the rock bluff. And I'm like, that is freaking wild. Like, that's bizarre. So we, we're, when you when you park, is there a sign of other people parking there, Annie? Nobody goes in there, right? Nobody goes in there. So your trail in, you're like, it's full on game trails? It's not a... Oh, there's like, uh, there's it's, not it's a, full on like, there's elk sign. Like, I mean... Well, there's some good elk trails in there. Oh, like that, that trail is loaded with elk shit. Really? Yeah, and that's where I found... I, just telling you, I found clumps of elk hair on the ground. You said, "Oh, they just lose." Yeah, yeah, this time of year, it's all over the place. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of game in there. Lots of food. Lots of food. Lots of food. Sacred place. Lots of lots of food. Lots of bear sign in there. Not a ton, but like I saw probably half a dozen piles of bear shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. So now you got the bombs, and, and then I too. There's nothing, that's not a warrant to people. Oh, they're warning you, they're putting the yeah. board. No, they're not. They no. don't want you there. You're not going to go there. You know, that is, if they don't want you there, they're going to make sure you don't go back. They're going to scare you until you shit your freaking pants. Yeah. Right? Because, and, and I hate to jump back and forth, but those are things that I've, that I've learned just recently is if they don't want you to be somewhere, they're going to make sure you never go back there. And there's one area in my entire life that I've had that happen. And that was, I told you that like, you know, a year and a half after I saw that one in the central interior, I went into a different valley and I was in there mule deer hunting in November and I walked up that creek draw and that kind of thing screamed. Oh yeah. And like blood curdling. And I, and I was almost two hours back to my truck yeah. and I turned and ran like a little kid. <laughs> oh, no. And I ran oh. and I jumped in my pickup and I locked the doors and I started my truck. It was whatever noon by the time I got back down and I've never been back there. And I hunt that area all the time. I go up there for my trips, my, you know, my wilderness trips and stuff. I go up there all the time. I have never in 34 years gone back to that. Is that on the west side of the big lake? That's on, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Southwest side. Yeah. You know, I spent shit piles of time around Tons, there. but I'll never go back there. No, it's creepy in there. No. That whole triangle is creepier than shit. We'll not go back in that one spot. Because that sound was like... Turn around. Yeah, there like was... That turned me in my trap. Like, there was no... What was that? Like, it lasted probably five seconds. She's like, a bellow. 
and I just turn around and go. <clears throat> Gotta wonder how many other people it happens to around there, eh? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, lots of Vancouver goes up there, lots of Pamela yeah. goes up there. Yeah. Lots of Little White goes up there. Whatever. It is what it is. But you know, the, yeah, like, uh, the thing is, is I'm not, like, uh, I'm like, you know, I'm not scared out in the bush, right? I, you know, like, that's where I feel the best. I would far sooner spend, I would far sooner spend, you know, a week in the middle of freaking nowhere with nobody than, you know, I'm that's, still just, that's, that's just what I, you know what, that's if that's how I'm going to die, let it happen. Yeah, totally. I'm and, 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 yeah, I know, I totally agree. Like, you know, it's funny, my wife and my daughters are booking a trip right now in, in September. They're going down to, they're going to Paris and whatever, Europe, and they're doing a couple weeks there or whatever, and, and I'm going north to the bush. Yeah. And I'm going to spend my time hunting, and then I'm going to go spend another probably three or four weeks alone up in the central interior there. Just, yeah. you know, so I'm comfortable out there. And I've had those experiences with grizzlies, right? I've, I was six, eight feet away from losing my life to a bear. Mm. And it was the bear or me. And yeah, I was terrified, right? <laughs> yeah. I was terrified. And that's uh, a different flavor of scared though, when that shit goes That's down. a different flavor of scared. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different flavor. It is. Yeah. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. Out of all the places I've been, all the things that have happened, there's only been one spot that I've gone, I ain't, that's it. I never go back there. I don't need to go in there. I got a few of those around, uh, Whistler Pemberton yeah. area. Oh yeah. Yeah. Down, down Lake. Ugh. Down Lake's bad juju down there, man. <laughs> oh yeah, for a lot of people, I'm just not into it. I went, I went, I had to go guide down there a bunch of months, <laughs> springtime. But other than that, yeah, I had to go down there. Hold on a minute, I want to fresh up that dog. What is she barking at? Who knows, rabbit or a deer? She hates him. She's like, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know, I don't know where she got it from, but she was like freaking out the other night. So I put the thermal up and there's a rabbit way down oh, back of it. Yes, a rabbit. She's like, <laughs> hold on a minute. Right. Hold on a second. Yeah. So now what? So now I see uh, the bones, seen the bones and the bluffs. Then what then what'd you do? Did you leave? No. That didn't bother me. Did you go down the lake? Yep. That day? Yep. Did you fish? Nope. Oh. Went down the lake, hiked around the lake a little bit. I was just out for a hike. I was gonna I was gonna fish. Uh I have my stuff with me, but I was just like, went for a hike around the lake a little bit, went and checked the falls out. I got a drone, so I flew the drone over the lake a little bit, and, and I spent the afternoon and buggered off. Didn't bother me. That didn't bother me. That intrigued me more than anything. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's, it's every once in, there's no predicting it unless you're, yeah, there's no predicting it. Like no. Sometimes I can go some places, big deal. It's like going from your bedroom to go take a leak in your bathroom big deal yeah then other times you're like this mm. no right isn't that weird mm -hmm. yep well you know what the thing is uh, and again this is just like i, I don't know man. I, like i said to you in the text i i feel like i could talk for days and and it's weird because it, i don't know why like i don't know why in such a short period of time so much went into my head like so much uh, got absorbed but um, I've always felt this, but I feel it even more now that, um, like if, if they wanted us dead, we wouldn't be here. Oh, There's no sure. doubt about it. I don't feel in danger. Um, I think there's bad ones of these. Okay, right, hold beings. on. So let's go. Sorry. Yeah. Back. Yeah. 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 So now we're back in camping. What'd you bring with you? Just this last time? Brought my 300. You did, you did bring, I did bring with my 300. Did you sleep and in the I tent? Don't? Uh, I would just have a turf. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about I have my 300? Under a tree, up against a rock? Just pitch out over it between two trees. Oh, yeah. So you're surrounded by timber? Yeah, in the timber, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're right beside a lake? Yeah. Like oh. you can see water? Yeah. In 75 yards. <clears throat> Is it one of those lakes where it's just bushy around the edge? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This side's a little more open than the other side. Like where you go down is, is a little bit more open. The other side's a little bit thicker. Oh, yeah. And then the far end's nice open because it's big timber. So now, I've went, so when did you hit the sack? Did you have a fire? No, I didn't have a fire. Burnt no. up some, boiled up some water? Yeah, I just boiled up some water and I had a, I had one of my meals and uh, I was just, actually, I was just, it was probably 10 o'clock, maybe, 10, 10.30. You slept yet? No, I hadn't slept yet. I was just sitting up. Were you nervous? I was uneasy. I wasn't nervous, but I was like, I just had that feeling, like, and I, and, and I didn't know, is it because I know 
what's around there or like was there something around there but i just felt uneasy i felt like there's definitely a difference away because i can yep. spook myself out and yep. then it realizes nothing but then when it's real it's a difference yeah it's different but what's odd this time is i i didn't i didn't like i wasn't scared but i was like so there's some i just felt something like, Sounds i off. just felt something off and it was probably i'm you know i thought it was maybe a couple hours that that well i would say it was a couple hours there was probably maybe 20 minutes half an hour of the noises and so i was sitting there and i was underneath my tarp and and i heard it like like a clank sound like uh you know when you walk on a river when you're fishing you hear the rocks kind of but it was just like a bank like a clunk and i was like I listen and, and I can't, you know, again, I'm going, is my, did I hear that? Is there echoes in there? A little bit, right? Like, did these noises echo to top? Well, they did because it, the when I first heard the noise, it was down at the water. And I was like, what the hell is that, you know? And then I heard a couple more times. As soon as I heard a couple more, and but it was like, like, clank, clank. So I grabbed my camcorder. And as soon as I grabbed my camcorder, I pulled my camcorder up and opened the lens up. And I'm like this, dead quiet. How crazy is that, right? That was crazy. <laughs> Dead quiet, nothing. So I waited, I don't know, maybe five minutes. Nothing. I'm like, okay, whatever. Put the camcorder down. But now I'm not. I'm not going to sleep. I'm just sort of. I guess. I'm, I'm just like no shit listening and puckered. I hear it again from the same spot. And a couple more times, go and grab the camcorder. Grab the camcorder. Literally open the thing. Stop. And I'm like, what the hell, man? And so this happened a couple of times. And then I heard it again. And then about 75 yards up the hill, I heard like a knock. And, oh, yeah. it, and it sounded like the same thing. It sounded like, it wasn't wood. It was rocks. Like it sounded like a rock being hit together. So I heard that, grabbed my cell phone. And when I grabbed my phone and hit record, I think I got checked, but I think I got a little bit of it. And then I could hear like this, um, like, a, I, like a really deep, um, best way to describe it. Like kind of like that, the grunt of a bull moose cross with a great big bullfrog kind of a, like, it wasn't a roar. It was just a, it sounded like a throat noise or, yeah. a, or like, and I heard that a couple of times. And I think I got a little bit of that maybe. Oh, yeah. And that's when my mind started just going like, that's, here we go. Yeah. I ain't by myself. Right. And I, and it's whatever. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, I, I'm not going back out to my rig and, and leaving. And I just started, these questions started going through my head. And like that part. Yeah. And Dude, then, I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna, and I didn't. I did. I wasn't. I, did, I wasn't scared. I and wasn't. you are already. You are already said. I'm just here to hang out, man. Yeah. I'm not trying to kill your ass or get a whatever. I'm not trying to sneak yeah. anything. And yeah, totally. And I don't think it matters what you say. I don't think it matters. They know exactly what you're thinking. You can say whatever you want. I th I think these things know what you're thinking. Uh, you you could be there to kill them, and if you say, "No, I'm just here to hang out." You can say whatever you want. So yeah, I did say that. I and I wasn't going anywhere. I just. But then I started asking these questions, and in my mind, you know, just in my mind, I'm going, okay. Um, you know, I, I think the second thing I was like, am, am I safe? Like, can I be here? Sort of thing. And no problem. What do you mean, no problem? They said that, no that, problem. That was the word, no problem. Oh really? Yeah. How did it come across? Like it was fine. Like it was like, like every question I asked pretty much was basically just like you and I talking. It was just like, yeah. You could hear, you could hear a voice. But it, no, you, there was nothing, nothing being said. There was no. No, but you could hear a voice in your in head. In my head, I could totally hear it. <clears throat> male, female type or your own male. voice? No, male voice. Not your own voice. Not my own voice. Somebody else's no. freaking voice. Yeah. No shit. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like when you're hunting, you're going, okay, where are you going? Well, you're probably going. No, it wasn't that. It deep, was like deep, medium, high, a deeper voice. 
like, like very, a, very, very quiet, but deep. Like it wasn't booming loud. You know what I mean? It was just very chill, very chill. And that's probably why I wasn't, I mean, I'm sitting there going, okay, am I losing my shit? Am I losing it here? Like, or, or am I telling myself these, you know, that's, that, yeah, was, yeah. that was more so the thing. It was like, am, am I telling myself this? Am I answering my own questions? And I'm kind of going, no, I'm not like, you know, and, and, um, you know, the other thing, it's funny because I never asked directly about you, but like, I was like, am I safe? You know, can I be here? Um, and, and, I, and it was like, no problem. And I'm like, okay. And then I was like, uh, I didn't touch the, those bones. And the response I got with that one, which, which leads me to a lot of things. It, it, like I was like, okay, I didn't, I didn't touch them bones because I, when I saw those ones, I ain't touching these things because like I believe in rituals, like like native sure. traditional rituals and stuff. So I'm like, I'm not gonna touch these. Um, <clears throat> but when I asked that, the, res the what I heard was those were there for you. And I went, hmm, really? To to what? To get my attention? To? And that's when things really started to make sense. It's like, it's to get your attention, and it's just merely to get your attention that, you know. We're here, coexistence. But, the, but when I asked about, sorry, I didn't even ask about you, but that's what I found kind of, because I'm in my, in my mind, I'm going, oh my God, like, I want to tell Steve about this, but he's going to make a freaking nut bar. And, and I'm going, and, and just immediately, like, as soon as you're, the thought of you came into my head, I got, he's a good soul. He's a protector. And, and. I know you, but I don't know you. Like we've only known each other for a fairly short period of time. But um, my gut feeling, what about you was that? Because um, I'm a protector. Like you know, f with me or my family, and he ain't gonna make her. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you. I promise you that. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I am a protector, very much so. And that's what I got. He's a good soul. He's a protector. He's like you are. And I went, okay. I can definitely talk to him about this. Wasn't I was question? I wasn't questioning you. It was just for some. You were in the back of my mind. Oh yeah. Because so so that was kind of like, okay. And again, was that my gut talk? You know what I mean? It's just there was so much. There were so many things that I asked. You know, and then I and then I'm like, you know, I'm in my mind. I'm going, are you like? Are you guys? are you guys bad? And it was like, no, there's bad, there's bad ones of them out there. There is bad ones, but there's far more good. I wonder what the flavor of bad is. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Bad and, is and in it, potty mouth? Bad well, is bad is in, do they try to scare the living shit out of you? Do they, like, what is bad? And, and then right, right after that was, was, which I, believe my whole life right after that was worry about the humans the bad humans way before you worry about us no there, and that's when I went yeah I totally believe that because I think you've said it like how many how many times how, how many times have you heard of whatever a, a hunter being found with his freaking legs and arms torn off how many times have you heard about somebody being dragged out of their tent um, and slapped around or beat up by a by a sasquatch yeah, yeah. hasn't happened but humans do far worse than that every single day humans there's some very evil sons of bitches i don't even know if they're actually humans at this stage of the game you know what i mean yeah i haven't a clue everything is becoming so everything's becoming slowly clear but at the same time the same speed everything is becoming absolutely freaking bizarre mm -hmm. and that's just with us yeah, that's just what's going down the pipe. Watching human beings' reactions to the shit show is absolute. It's like we're in the most crazy ass movie. Genius. Who's that guy? Who's that guy that wrote Pulp Fiction and everything? Oh yeah, uh, it's like one of his yeah. movies. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like what? I can't believe that just happened. But anyway, whatever. So, okay, so I don't. Oh no, let's keep going. Let's keep going on. What stood out the most what they shared with you? 
what stood out the most is was the, the saying that I heard, keep your circle small. And, and, and I just was like, my circle is small. Like now, you, I, you said that a few times, keep your circle small. Keep a few your times? small, a few times. Really want to drill that in you. Yeah. And, but you know what? And I struggled the whole time. Honestly, I honestly struggled when I pulled in your driveway, just going, okay, I can, I know how to talk to you, but do we need to share this? Is like, uh, well, I think so. Yeah. Well, if they know, what, they already know what we were going to do. Yeah. I think, I, as far as I'm concerned, somebody's right here right now. Okay. That's working. Okay. You're, you're on to something. Yeah, yeah I know. A little minor malfunction there. What I was saying was, like, we we're, were wondering about the hesitation of talking about this and sharing knowledge, but they they are they already know. They know what's going down in here. Mm-hmm. They know what's going down with me, and nobody's trying to stop me from doing this. Yeah, nobody's giving me any feelings of quit it, flat line. So, pretty certain they know we're not gonna we're not connected to some posse of kill teams or no. research douchebags. They're gonna go in there well maybe we're gonna sell some expeditions yeah <laughs> right? no no what what worries like what worried me what's still in the back of my mind is not that what what's in the back of my mind a little bit is i think there's a ton of really good people that watch your oh yeah follow yeah, your yeah. channel and i but i also i can also look at my life that there's a ton of real douchebags well there's some dark sons of bitches keeping it. tabs on this channel and i'm just a little i was a little hesitant going Will they gain, will they gain anything from this yeah. to Mm-mm. do something? No way. Okay. That's I mean, why I wanted me. That's why I want to be real careful. Yeah, yeah. Seeing any locations. Or but I think that if that was a th- an honest, true, true threat to them, they probably would have let you know that pretty clear before you got probably. on the gate. Probably. Yeah. And they've been here. Yeah. Somebody's been here, w- without a doubt. Yeah. Right. Fuck! She took my ass. Guaranteed they did. <laughs> Somebody took my axe. I even asked for it back the other day. And there's an eagle feather laying there the, the next afternoon. It'll come back. I know, but I bought this wick, this wicked, like a $200 splitting axe from Choppers. Yeah. I had my $1,100 saw sitting right there. And they took the axe. And the axe was like, you're going to get out there. And I'm like, playing with you. No, it's not. It's gone. And if somebody took that axe, that, that saw was going with it. Yeah. That axe is gone. <laughs> Hopefully it'll find it sunk in my heat up. No, but anyway. It'll show up in your hood of your truck one day. Yeah. We've had the house beat on before. What else? <clears throat> Whatever. It is what it is. I don't give a shit. Yeah. But I'm just saying, there's no secret what's going on here. Yeah. And I think if this is a threat to them, they would have put a stop block on it. Yeah. But anyway, back to those questions answered. So there's good ones. And they said there's also bad ones. And they said to you that the previous ones were bad. Well, I, I, I remember going like... Were you the ones that chased me out of here? Like, basically kind of saying, was it you that knocked on the trees? And no, it wasn't. They didn't say they were bad. They just said, no, it wasn't. See, that's interesting. So it's almost like, so that one particular zone, the way I think, or how we have been thinking is like different clans go here, a tribe or whatever. Let's just say there's a group of people frequenting that place. And that short of a time period, that's a different group of people there. Are they nomadic? Are they coming and leaving? From Are somewhere else? Reason? Is there some kind of potential who knows what doorway right there that a lot of different people, beings use? Yeah. So that means there, why there's a turnover right there? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah. Because it was... I, I mean, look at grizzlies, right? We see a grizzly on a hill one day, and grizzlies roam, and then the next day you'll see a different grizzly in the exact same spot. Well, we got trails that go forever. Yeah. So forever. that's kind of what I'm thinking going, okay, it's like, you know, maybe they don't just stay right there. Maybe they... I mean, it's... it's Huge country. Yeah. It's a massive country back in there. I think that that's one little bit of a mystery right there, though, is, I mean, if they are physically traveling to get there, and boom, there's the next group, they're right after the previous group when you were there. They're bumping each other on the trail all the yeah. time. They or talk to each other, whatever. Yeah. There's no question about it, but I don't know. I'm, my gut is kind of leaning towards they're showing up from somewhere mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. at different times. They're yeah. showing up. Yeah. I don't know if they leave on foot, they leave the way they came. I don't know. But I do know that they have been there forever. Yep. And I got friends of mine right over the hill. Seems as they were kids. Yep. And my mom, three legs over. I think they've been there forever too. But I think they've been in all these places forever. Yeah, and then and then the flavor of quote bad ones. Now 
these are very, very sensitive people. And from what I've learned from these other people I've talked to, communicate with them, like they are so sensitive. Um, I think Richard said on video, they were talking to this woman and then another man who's involved in this topic sent an avid to affidavit for the woman to sign it. Like she's reading it. And then these beings are right there. And they said, nope, that's a bad man. We're out. That's a bad man. We're out. And that was it. They're out. So they're just showing me they're overly sensitive. So what I'm saying is, I'm trying to get at is, our version of bad is usually the extreme. Pulling your head off, ripping your arms off. Yep. That's our version of what might be bad. Yeah. Their version of bad, because they're so sensitive, almost like our women, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Right? They might be a little, they might be so sensitive that somebody scaring human beings is intentional, bad. that could be the bad. That's right. Yeah, like leave the poor people alone. They're just here doing their thing, coexisting. Why would you just terrify them like that? Yeah, you know, they, I, I agree. They might, they might be that sensitive. Yeah, of of aggression. I agree. That just doing that is enough to label you as bad. Yeah, because they're they're probably not saying, "You better watch out. These guys are going to rip your dick off and ram it up your." It would have happened. Yeah, that's what I keep thinking. Is is if that was the case, it would have happened by now. So what else did you hear? Uh... Got a protector, circle small. There are bad ones, humans are way worse. And I got, yeah, I got that a lot. Like, you know, basically like, and I think that's what I've been thinking about a lot at night and stuff is like, you know, people people think, you know, these beings are bad or whatever. Like, they're, think of what mankind does. Yeah. Think of what man, like, you know, I mean, it's just, it's it's almost like out of this world what man will do to other man. It's it's mind beyond like, it's beyond. Yeah. Right? Um it's worse than the worst thing you can come up with. Yeah. Without yeah. doubt. But you know, I, I just again I, I I thought about a lot of stuff. I, I'm I'm sitting there going like again I'm just thinking things, right? As, as I'm there and I'm just thinking things and going, um like how can something how can a being live out here like this, you know? But and it wasn't really answers, but it was like it was like things got sort of thrown into my head. Well, grizzly bears can smell a kill from miles away. A human can't, mm. right? A fish is born in a river, goes out into this vast wide open ocean and has the, the um, brain capacity to return back to that exact same river, That's right to the exact river. same place where they were born. Those things started going into my head and I'm just going like, what does this mean? That's where I started getting kind of confused and going, what does this mean? Like. I, I've known about fish spawning my whole life. I've, I know what the how uh, the, a bear's sense of smell, what it's like. Um, but why was that being brought up? Oh, it was being brought up. Yeah. Oh, all the natural ways the wildlife and living beings are being brought up in a way. Yeah. Right? Like, I know that stuff. Well, probably trying to clue you into what you can really sense. Maybe. Maybe. Well, and, and I think we know that. Like, I know that for sure. Like, when I go to the, when I go to the mountains, um, first few days you, you get you hear the ringing in your ears from the city and you know whatever but but after like four days eight days like and then when you're out there for a couple of weeks with no you know no noise your senses your your, your hearing is 10 times better than it was when you got there oh god you get way more healthy it's incredible yeah everything changes right. coming back into civilization sucks you have to try it after doing 120 days 120 days and then you come back and you're just like I can learn before and else at a place. I almost felt guilty because I go, you go check in, yeah, <laughs> and then you go up to the room to get in the bathroom, and then you smell yourself. Yeah, it was like, like oh water. my god, those poor women right. downstairs just had to smell that. But then, then you got to slowly integrate back into freaking society, and it sucks. Yeah, it just sucks, yeah. man. Yeah. I don't know. There's just uh, it was. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot going on right now. Yeah, you know, like I say, when I start when I start looking back at you know, all the handful of experiences that I've had and stuff. And I'm going, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. You know, this makes sense. Could you tell if there was anything they really stressed on the most? Yeah, that, that keep your... Circle small? Keep, that was like prominent. Well, that sounds, that, sh that sounds pretty fitting with considering who they are and what they got to do daily. They probably realize more than anybody. You got to keep that circle small. Yeah, like, I mean, if they wanted to, they could make everybody aware of them, right? And, that, and that's the thing, like, people, 
I, I just don't even want to hear it. Like, I don't even talk about it. Most of the time, I don't even talk about it because people, oh, I, well, where's the proof? You know, there's this. Uh, Oh, no, I don't, I don't. Uh, you know what? If you're looking, for, if that's if that's your sole purpose, is to look for you. Know, if you need that kind of proof, then no. I think I've I've noticed like there's almost like there's different categories of humans existing right now. I've kind of accept that. There is, like yeah. like I said before, I think I was talking about before when you know, good friend of mine, outdoors guy, past logger, current hunter, fishing guide, and if this topic comes up, he gets a look on his face like he's waiting for the punchline. Mm -hmm. So I know not even to take it one more word in that direction. Yeah. I don't even talk. I don't talk about it. Yeah. Talk about here with all the people because I know that the people are here, right? The people that know are here. Yeah. I don't give a shit if this channel gets freaking shared. I don't give a flying F if you subscribe. I don't care. If you want to watch it, it's there. Doesn't matter because the people that I, I want to hear from and talk to, they're fond of this. They're intelligent people and they find this place on their own. Yeah. And that's who we're after. It's not like, hey, make sure you. I can't, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's not totally, about that. No, I totally know what you mean. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. So, and that goes, that's how I am in. Like we are in public, <laughs> I definitely don't go down the road. As some some people that do ask have asked me, it takes a while to get me to crack. Yeah, I'm like, well, it doesn't really make sense for me to talk to you guys about it. Why not? Because you know, up to speed, I'm gonna sound like a kook, and it's gonna be too overwhelming for you. And if you don't, if you're not into it, it probably doesn't even make sense for you to be it. No, to talk about it. No, it's not something you can promote. And I really don't think there's a whole lot of people that are. I really don't. I really don't think there's a whole lot of people that are ready, and I think that's probably why it's. Oh my God! I think. Well, I think. I think society's peeking out at creating dumbasses. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, man. It's like peak human. The human community is peaking right now at examples of absolute mind-boggling dumbass. You are such a lost soul. It's almost painful to mm -hmm. glance at you. Yeah. Peaking. Right now, all you gotta do is go on one of the stupid things start flicking through and see what people are doing in front of their freaking cameras. Yeah, how much time people spend on Facebook and uh, all these other stupid, yeah. you know. But what people are doing on there. And what people are doing. It's yeah. like, really? Yeah. You look at that and you go, you can't that's be mankind. Right? That's, what's that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, like, planet? it's almost like we're peaking. Like, it can't get much worse than this. You know what I mean? It yeah. can't get much worse. No. But whatever. It is what it that's is. That's why we go and do what we yeah. do. Yeah, kick those, them off to the curb. Yeah, sure. And get the knowledge. I don't even know what the hell's driving me to do this. I don't need to sit here. I don't either. And you know what? Like, um, I got, like I say, I just got. A, I got my my mind's going a million miles an hour still, and I'm just like, uh, honestly, I don't really need to know anymore right now. No, that's no, no, I, and that and that changed. Like that's that's just right now. Like, right. I, I'm I'm like. I, I, you got I, enough? I, I'm good right now. Puzzle's full enough? Yeah, maybe it's just because my brain's full enough. I don't know. Maybe maybe in a week I'll feel a little differently. I don't know. But I'm just kind of like, okay, I, I I had a hunch about a lot of this stuff. And I had my thoughts. And most of what I was thinking seems to be legit yeah, yeah. And, and the truth. And I'm yeah. kind of like, okay, I'm... I'm I think for me, it. my... I have more of an urge to figure out who is the darkest sons of bitches and why. I've really got a burning drive to do that. I think, yeah. Not, yeah. I don't know why. Uh, this topic, kind of sub, like I said the other day. Like, it's so, these people I spoke to the other day, the Richard Hucklebush, sincere, straight up dude, and he's, they communicate. Oh, really? And he still has shit going on in his house. They're somewhere near, anyways, I'm going to talk to him in person. But anyway, what I'm saying is, I've heard from a few different groups, individuals, who I, so far, they seem pretty legitimate to me so far, and they all said that there are definitely human, quote, kill teams seeking these beings out and destroying them, killing them. Really? Yeah. And these people are adamant. No kidding. So, for me, if I could find out who... And why? I think why is a pretty big question. That's going to answer so much shit just for humanity. Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That's a monstrous answer to, yeah. to be figured out. And that has nothing to do with exposing these forest people. I'm talking exposing these bad sons of bitches. Yeah. How did you get to the point where you even got the skills to do this? Who are you? And why are you doing this? Well, yeah. I, I I totally hear you. I, I I've heard that brought up a 
a few times, not recently, but um, I, I, I mean, think about it. They, they can send people into a different country, right? Yeah. And take out the leader of that country in his bed. Yeah. In a, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. When you think about the possibilities, no, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. Um, what, what I wonder is why. I do have a bit of a theory on that. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting an idea. I'm not yeah. have to spit out loud though. No, probably, I'm not. I'm not ready to share. I got that little puzzles right here, slowly yeah. getting pulled, put together Curi on its own time. I'm curious. Maybe off camera, we'll we say to each other what it is because yeah. I have, yeah, I have my suspicions, but I've had those for a long, long, long time. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. But here's, but here's like a lot of people. If you bring up the. We're going to be running out of time, so try yeah, to yeah, speed it up yeah. a little bit. But if you bring up this topic, let's just talk. <clears throat> okay, let me back up a little. One more quick point. I don't think they're killing them. I don't think they're seeking out destroying these people in Canada. No. We we would have ran out of these guys. Mm -hmm. We would have seen their vehicles at night time. Something. We would have seen them. Something. And they're talking way too many people who see them commonly. The areas that we go to, they're there all the time. No. Yeah. I'm not missing shit. What does catch my eye? My attention, though, is people say, you know, saw one, heard one, whatever, and I saw an orb. And anytime there's a light, that gets me, that raises my suspicions. Mm. What is that light? You know, you know, it's common, though. It's a pattern. It's common. And could that be the... Mm, I don't know. Possibly. Because I've talked to I've had lots of people seeing them accompanying these beings. No, there's crews along. Yeah. That would be cool. It's not threatening yeah. to them. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. But so far, I haven't seen any evidence of that being a dart towards them. Yeah. But here's some questions, though. Still going? Yeah, still going. So, in the States, and this one friend of mine showed me a bunch of examples of what happened in these areas. Soon afterwards, the wrong people were spoken to. They got burned out. Flatline. Cabins burnt down. Bunch of dark shit. All I'm saying is, if these people, these forest people, can communicate through their minds, which confirmed. You confirm that for me. Yeah. It's confirmed. 110% confirmed. Yeah. Okay. Now you got people saying, well, they could be in your house. Richard Jamel proven that something or somehow the medium he was speaking to, she said it was the forest people that were in his house, looking at his house, described to her, to Rich, where his wife was sleeping, which nobody knew, everything in the house, physically sleeping up. And that's when he went, I'm out. Yeah. I'm done. I'm good. But here's the thing. Okay. I've got those skills. Right? I can go in your head, I can see what your eyes are seeing. I know where you live, I know what your thoughts are before you get out of the truck. Mm -hmm. That does not mesh up with human beings being able to kill those people that skill. I agree. Doesn't mesh up. No. If that's the case, then these forest people would be able to tell us the names of the kill team guys, where they live, what yeah. they're driving, what they're wearing, who their mom and dad is, their wife, mm -hmm. where they sleep in the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So no, I just... totally agree. And, and you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Yeah. My opinion is just my opinion. Um, you know, is have they been pursued? Probably. Have they been successful? I don't think so. I, I just honestly, my gut's telling me that no, because I think and, unless there's unless what we we're talking about previously, the connection. Hmm. If that's true, possibly. Right. And, and again, we can elaborate a little bit more on that off camera. Yeah. But Well, Melba told me that there was another man, I forget the name, um, back in the a whistleblower. And he's barfed out a scientist and he had all the receipts. And he said there was, the government had at that time in 1950s, a live capture and four dead bodies. Wasn't there, but she rattled off the name, the dates, the names, the you scientists, where, the whole nine yards. But then if you try to, if you look at how these forced people conduct themselves, that's some serious intimidation to be able to make somebody with such skills that nervous. Yep. To the totally. point being that sensitive. Totally. Like even talking to you and then all of a sudden, that's it? Yep. Just like that. Right? Yeah. Over. It's like, okay, we said enough, time to go. Yep. For me, all right, if I'm, t if I'm 12 feet tall and I got basketballs for traps and I can run 60 miles per hour beside a car on the highway, <laughs> I 
I'm gonna fuck with humans on stop just to be because I'm a clown, right? I'm gonna be make I'm gonna be making myself and my totally. friends laugh all the oh my Absolutely. Like, you're not gonna believe I did these poor bastards on this quad, right? right? Yeah. Let's let's go do have some fun here. And I, yeah. I think that happens. Yeah, but like, for me, I'd be like, I'd be doing it all the time. If little Justin Crime C R Crime Minister is up at the podium. I'm gonna make myself visible right beside his ass for about three seconds, yeah. just to mess everybody up in him. Right. You know, I'm gonna be doing shit nonstop to be a retard. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> right? Of course. But yeah. But they're not. I don't know. It's very confusing. But it is. I think at this stage of the game, got this part confirmed. I don't know. You gonna go back in there? Probably. I will. Yes, I will. But you know why? Because I love it. I love the spot. I love the area. I'll go back in there. You gonna go back in there looking to get answers and talk to him again? I don't know. You gotta be totally honest with you. Yeah, you're wishing you did or wishing you didn't. Fifty-fifty. Really? What part of what part of it do you think makes it think that you might wish you didn't do this? Um. What did I gain? I already believed. I already knew. I well, already, I knew, already knew. So I just questioned myself as to like, like I said to you earlier. Did I open something I shouldn't open? Did I do something I shouldn't have done? Well, time. I think your time will tell, right? And, and and whatever. Like I don't. I'm. I have my way of thinking. Okay. I I, I firmly believe in fate. I we we started dying the day we were born. Our our you got an expiration date. So do I. It was chosen the day that we took our first breath. Nothing's going to change that. Um, so I. It's not that part of it. It's just the part of did. Why. Why did I do what I did, mm. and why? You know, I I, I don't know. I'm. We got to think about it. One good thing I think one good thing about this is at least now you know nobody's out to pop your head off if you go camp beside Guaranteed. that lake. Guaranteed. There you go. Yeah. And I like saying I spend a lot of time like you do alone, um, on my trips, hunting, fishing, camping, whatever. And uh, I've had times where I've been terrified. I probably still will have those, but I know whatever. It's it's. I, I'm not, I'm not, as I said, with that time with my wife in the, in the wall tent, if that were to happen again right now, I'd probably just go, whatever, Jesus, just let me go to sleep. Cause I, I don't think anything's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I just don't need uh but all my life, ever since I was a little kid, ever since the first time, you know, I'm like, I know I'm going to have a face to face. Yeah. I've said those words to myself and out loud hundreds of times over a lot of years. I know it's coming. Yeah. But I just don't know when, yeah. but I know it's coming. Yeah. But I just don't. And I think it's okay. I really do. Like it's, it's fine. Just, I just don't need that stress of, I don't want to, I don't want to be chased. I don't want to have somebody looking up, looking at me like they want to rip me in half no. and then breathing down my neck for two hours out of the woods. Yeah. I don't need that. No, I'm not asking for that. I want that. That's probably my motivation of always saying, just leave me alone. Yep. Just freaking yep. leave me alone. Don't ruin it. Cause I'm teetering right now at some places I go, I can't go there. Yeah. And if this gets ruined, I might as well just go swing from a branch. That's right. Right? If you get, to, what are you going to do now? You go start shopping? Yeah. You go golfing? Yeah. <laughs> right? You can go on, on Twitter. And I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to learn the name of every football and hockey player's name and their whole history, where they went to school, and I'm going to sit in front of the TV and learn all that knowledge. You know, I don't think so. Right? Mm. When I have to stop doing what I'm doing, it's the day I leave. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when's your buddy back? You need him? Buddy. I think another week. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you work or something? No, I just went to see family in Alberta. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna probably pop in and see him when I'm back out. Be good to bullshit with him. I mean, you should. Yeah, you know, yeah, if no, you, it if, would. If he wouldn't, if he does want to speak openly with this thing recording, fine. Yeah. If not, I don't give a shit. No, exactly. But I would, I'd, I'd like to sit there and talk to him. Yep. There's a few other people out in that same town that would love to talk to you too. But yeah, and I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna sort of dabble a little bit more in it, just in conversation. You know, nothing. Yeah specific but it's funny once you get to this do i call it a level that almost sounds that almost sounds ego-ish <laughs> you know how many people's egos right like them when it comes to this topic we know who we're talking about oh, recently yeah. right it's like what the fuck is wrong with people yeah isn't you it know, weird to watch it it is it's yeah. like and you I know laugh what? at so much of that shit once and you know what else is the one common denominator with all of them is they all have the couple of the same things they all say Nobody has got as far as I have, and all those other guys are full of shit. Yeah, <laughs> right? right? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh my god! It's yeah. like, 
They're all cut from the same cloth. It's so weird to yeah. watch. Yeah. But I mean, it's like, they keep, it, it's, it's becoming more apparent to me how hard, it's a very hard thing for humans to just take from what you, what you need or leave it. Or leave it. Yeah, and don't ridicule people and don't question people and don't just... Yeah, well, it comes with the leave it. Yeah. Isn't it weird how hard it is though? Can't do it. So most, and most you can just do it. And I, I suggest it every single day. I'm trying to repeat it because apparently repeating to humans works. Yeah. What do you got here? Ten thousand times or something before it sinks in? I don't think it's gonna sink into some of them because they still blow a gasket. Uh, it's here. like even the people that blow a gasket online, if they, it's like, do you before your brain tells you it's okay to do that? Yeah. Do you really think that anybody gives a shit how you feel? Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody. No. Not one person. No. You can go caps lock and, and drill it on there about 50 times. It's not going to change. Doesn't it? Yeah. You know what? Maybe they can develop a double caps lock yeah. button for you. <laughs> Giant letters. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Yeah. Probably not, yeah. but you would try it. Yeah. <laughs> right? exactly. You can't stop them. Yeah. And, and, I, and it's almost like, okay, why do I keep saying this? Take from what you need or leave it. But if everybody could jump on that little... Uh, govern themselves with that one Con uh, fighting arguing aggro would instantly leave the theater totally just like that yeah. you would stop being upset yep you'd stop lashing you people. take what you need and, and leave it walk away oh well yeah it's like i said the other day who gives a shit what people say man like if there's a lot of people out there if, I've, if you've ever allowed yourself to lose a few minutes of life to watching some of these other channels they're just going at each other. You know, so and so said this about me, and so and so said that about me. It's like, good God! Oh yeah. Would you please just get over yourself? Yeah, like I said, look. If I went in line and there's a bunch of people said that I was having a personal way with goats in the backfield. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Who cares? Allowed to it because it's funny. Yeah. If it was yeah. true, then I'd probably get upset, <laughs> right? Yeah. But yeah. it's so weird to watch people. It's just bizarre to watch human beings. Almost like we're almost. It's almost like we were supposed to be forest people, you know what I mean? Totally. I know I'm like that far away from it. And then that's probably why I'm more amazed watching human beings at times. I don't yep. know. Yep. I it's, agree. It's a crazy, crazy ride, man. But I think right now for me, obviously there's there's shit piles of people that need to get shit off their chest. You wouldn't believe how many people sit there right now. And I, I don't, they haven't even told me, but you can tell because when they finally when they finally give the email, they say, I'm finally doing it. Yeah. So when they say that, I already know. They've been sitting there every day going, yes. can maybe tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to do it. Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah. Can't do it. This is the week thing I'm going to send in my, I'm going to share, I'm going to, I'm going to tell everybody what happened to me. Yeah. I know, I can't do it yet. What a shitty position, man. Shitty. So like, just yeah. for those people, I'll keep doing this shit. And if this is the door out. for them, that's pretty yeah. awesome. And then those, um, <laughs> there's all those people that, that don't want this to go down, it's too late now. Yeah. It's gotten so big and all those idiots have been exposed. We've exposed the shit out of them. Yeah. But that's also because I'm such a prick that way. That's right. You know what I mean? It's like as soon as you tell somebody wants me to shut up, uh oh. Yeah, I talk just, more. I just bought a loudspeaker. <laughs> Say it one more time. Uh oh, I just bought an amp. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I got an endless uh, energy supply. You're screwed. You just screwed yourself yeah. when you try to stop this place, right? So no matter what knowledge, I mean, guess what I'm saying is no matter what knowledge level I get to, this ain't gonna stop. Tell everybody to shirt. Yeah. The freaking way, right? And then. I don't know. I think well, it's you just think about how many people need it, right? So yeah, how many people have been misled, yep. lied to? They've lost quality of life. Yep. Right. They can't go in the woods like we do anymore, and they loved it just as much as us. Yep. That's enough to make it freaking grow. Yeah. Well, hopefully, people know now that. Well, I think I'm. I'm hoping that people know now that it go and enjoy. And I say that. I say that all the time, right? Like on my little trips, I'm like, I just hope everybody that's watching this is doing, if you love hiking and doing the thing, I hope you're out doing it. And if you love whatever it is you love, go out and do it because man, this is, this ain't a dress. You're rehearsal. already dead. This is a one, yeah. You're already you dead. one ride on this freaking train, so well, you better enjoy it. It's funny when you look at the old time photographs, say the 1800s, whatever. Imagine that being that person right now. Right. <laughs> that lifetime went pretty quick, didn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Well, I don't know, Senators, I guess for my ride, uh, I think for me, I'm really, really motivated to find out who is killing why, and I want to know why.
the dirty sons of bitches don't want the general public to know about this one topic. Yeah. I don't need anybody to ex I don't need anybody to discover these people, see these people, video record them. I don't need that. I don't give a shit. They can they've made it this far existing like this. Bravo. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Right? Envy's there, but I want If that gets answered, it's gonna be absolutely out of this world. Yeah. That gets answered, if it's legitimate that human being teams are killing these people avidly, and we find out, because you know what? They're not doing it for us. They're not doing it for us, for a better of us. Because if they were, there would be signs with a hot number all over every access road saying, listen, if you get Call tormented this by these things, you get hold of us and we'll save your ass. Yep. Said nobody ever. Yep. They, so put that, sign, they put signs up everywhere about grizzlies in the area and all, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't leave your garbage out. Be like, okay, don't whistle in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> right? Be very Whatever. careful if you're camping in the dark. Yeah, yeah. so that just using common sense, you can prove to yourself easily that this isn't about us. Yeah. No, no effing way. No. So that means the answer is probably something that's going to help us. Yeah, it's big. Right? Big way. Big, big time. Big. So, and then here I am talking about public every day, so if I do guys start getting really, really close, <laughs> the whole... <laughs> the old tackle box and the, you know, the door is going to come in you, right? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe not, whatever. Or who knows, maybe you'll have some unseen allies around the house that'll yeah. stop the pricks. I don't know, whatever. You know how to take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, there you go. So what do you got to do? Go get your gas tank? I got to get my gas tank, yeah. Just one? One now, another one in the fall. Oh, yeah. How much was it? Roughly? 2200 bucks. Yeah. Well, I guess what would have... Oh, shitty. I well, I probably saved a few grand doing all the work, though. Oh, well. But, yeah. Yeah, because I remember years ago, Orange Road, the sheet metal shop in Victoria, a guy came in, asked me, hey, can you get these tanks made up? And I'm like, sure, I took them in, and they were only 500 bucks each then. Welded aluminum with everything on the book. They're, these are big tanks, 90 gallon tanks. But when are you back on the water? Hopefully next weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm pick the tanks up, probably, if they're ready tomorrow, I'll pick them up tomorrow, go back on Wednesday and get going, get them oh, yeah. installed. I uh, hope anyways. I'll probably rip over there. Yeah. Yeah. I almost was thinking about it the other day, but then, you know, tree fell on Sarah, so... <laughs> I thought, well... Well, it's hit the fountain. Yeah. yeah. A tree fell on the wife's car full of kids. I think I better get back. Does that mean I should I leave fishing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just think about it overnight. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, no, we got all summer. We'll definitely make something happen. Yeah. All right. Sooner rather than later. At least we're gonna get out get this day going. Huh? Yeah, sounds good, man. Well, thanks for spilling, sharing Absolutely. all your shit. You probably get it when you drive away. You probably think of something else you forgot to mention. Oh, I will. Guaranteed. It might be tested, yeah. I'm I think I'm gonna go on a road trip pretty quick, and I'm gonna go speak to some people first. Oh, well, I gotta go meet them up, look into their eyes, and get the gut feeling right. Yep. And then take it from there. But so far, my gut saying green light, you gotta go talk to these people. So I might, just Perfect. because he's got some stuff that he couldn't really say on the online yeah. which is fine but if i can fill up if i can get that puzzle piece to figure out who and why i'm all over that one i'm like i'm actually excited to pursue that yeah i'm getting a little more even more wrapped up to pursue that it might be my demise if it is whatever i'm gonna right. shit i'll figure it out Pretty get ready right back tomorrow all right all right